is there really such a thing as the perfect pillow if you have neck pain? You see a lot of ads out there about people claiming to have the latest and greatest, the best solution for you. But is it really true? Does the perfect pillow exist? There are a lot of questions. Do you go firm or do you go soft? And what's the best brand? That's what everyone wants to know, right? What pillow should I get? Do I need to spend big bucks on it? Well, I'm going to tell you from personal experience, I've had neck pain for years and I've spent a ton of time and a ton of money on all kinds of different pillows. And I finally found what really works. It's what I recommend to my clients and it's what I'm going to share with you today. My name is Rob Drenning. I'm a physical therapist. We're going to talk all things pillows so that you know what you need to do to sleep and wake up without neck pain. But before we get into specifics on which pillow is best, there are two common mistakes that people make. It's just general pillow positioning when you're sleeping with neck pain, where if you're making those mistakes, it doesn't matter what pillow you use because it's not gonna work, it's not gonna help you. So I wanna clear up those things for you right now because they're pretty simple, pretty easy to fix. And we're gonna talk about sleeping sideline because that's what most people do with neck pain. If you're on your back, you're basically just laying there. But on your side, the position matters quite a bit more. So the first key, the mistake most people make is they have the pillow just underneath their head. But in reality, you want that pillow tucked down underneath your neck where it's pushed right against the top of your shoulder. I'm gonna show you on my pillow right here. So I'm gonna to turn to the side just so you can see a little bit easier. But we don't want this pillow just on the head because there's a space there where my neck is. We want that pillow tucked all the way down and pressed pretty firmly against the top of my shoulder. Okay, that way you're using all of the pillow. You're maximizing the amount of contact that you, the pillow has to support not just your head, but your neck. If the pillow is just on your head, your neck will gradually sink in like that. That's not what we want. So the first thing to do is to tuck that pillow down against the top of your shoulder. Now the second thing, this gets missed quite a bit. So we have that pillow, it's tucked in nicely here. Now what you wanna do, is you want to take the front of the pillow, the side of the pillow that you're facing, and you want to pull that down just a little bit like that. What that's gonna do is it's gonna get more pillow in contact with the front part of your neck and really help give you good support where you need it the most. So the pillow is getting pushed down like this on the shoulder, number one, and number two, tip it down slightly. It doesn't seem like much, but that will go a long way to just get your neck in the right position. And if you're doing those two things, if you're a side sleeper, now you can worry about which type of pillow is gonna be best for you. So first let's answer the general question. Do you want firm or do you want soft? You have pillows like this that are really soft, they're down pillows, they're flexible, they're flimsy, and you have pillows like this that are a little bit more firm. Which one is best? And the answer is it depends on how you like to sleep. If you're a back sleeper, you generally want uh, a softer, um, more flexible kind of pillow. When you're on your back, you pull it all the way under your neck and you can even roll it up a little bit because it's soft and flexible. So it, you can create a little neck roll like that. If you're sleeping on your back, you definitely want to go softer. Now, if you're on your side, the general trend is you want to be firmer. For me, the more firm I can get, the better. Everyone's going to be a little bit different in that regard but you just wanna start firm and see how it goes. Pillows always get less firm the more you use them. So even if it feels like a little much to start out, just give it some time and see how it goes. As you start to notice your pillow getting less firm, one thing that I will do is I'll take a, a towel or something about an inch or two thick and lay it down underneath my pillow. So I'll take like a, a beach towel, fold it in half or in quarters and lay it right under my pillow. And then when I do those positional things we just talked about, I'll pull the whole towel and pillow down to the top of my shoulder. And that creates just a little bit more firmness that helps you sleep the best. And when you're on your side, the goal is to have your head and your spine in a nice straight line. You can have somebody else look at you from behind, but that's the goal. And that's what will really determine how firm you are. If it's too firm, it's gonna push you up and you need something less. If it's not firm enough, your head will sink down and you'll be bent. That's when you can use the towel, something to kind of give you a little bit of extra support. But generally speaking, if you're a side sleeper, go firm. If you're a back sleeper, go softer. Now the burning question is at this point, what's the best brand of pillow? What's the best kind of pillow that you should buy for your neck pain? 
The mistake that I made and that a lot of people make is you think more expensive is better. I bought the most expensive memory foam pillow and I found, oh, okay, yeah, that helps a little bit. It helps for a while and then it doesn't. And I did this for a long time. And then at one point I just saw this really cheap, firm pillow and I bought it and I found, oh, actually that helps really good too. There's so many out there. There's bean pillows, water pillows. How do you choose? You keep in mind the general guidelines we just talked about, the positional things we just talked about. And then from there, what you need to understand is that there is no perfect brand that works for everybody. A really expensive memory foam pillow might help for some people, but in my experience with all of my clients and myself, it doesn't work for everybody. Oftentimes, the cheaper stuff works just as good, but the key is you have to change your pillow frequently, whether you go expensive or cheap. That's the key is you have to change it more and more frequently. When you find that pillow that really helps you, it's going to lose some of its magic and you'll be able to feel when that's happening, but don't go six months or a year even with the same pillow. So it all depends on what you can afford. But what I do now is I go to home goods, I get a two pack for 25 bucks and it helps me. I can change it out frequently and it doesn't cost me half of my paycheck on the more expensive ones. They might last a little bit longer, but you still have to replace them. And when you have to spend a hundred bucks on your pillow every so often, it just hits a little harder. So the starting point is to go cheap. And if that's not helping, you build your way up until you find the spot that's gonna still help you get relief from your neck pain, but not cost you an arm and a leg in the process. So don't go the direction that I did, go that way instead. But you don't need to believe every Instagram you add you have. You can start with more affordable options and work your way up because they are just as effective despite what some of the marketing ads will claim. I hope that info is helpful for you for neck pain. There are other videos I've done for sleeping with back pain and other suggestions. So keep watching for more tips on how to live pain free.